bait toward the sideline. He tried to dive for it. And as you can see, maybe strain that shoulder just a bit. He's diving. Ooh. What's the record of this Chris Oh, he's totally undefeated. He's sort, of like, he's sort of like Father Time. They're both undefeated. Here come the Lakers, down 14, three and a half to play. Can Matt Ryan make a three? No. And it's taken by Donovan Mitchell, who says, let's just ease up a little bit here. Milk some clock, get an under three before we shoot. Matt Ryan, one for four tonight. Mitchell stops. Allen. Yeah, he did. He really Late whistle, but it's the yeah. right call. That, that pivot foot was he did the bunny <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> under three. Kendrick Dunn. The illegal screen by Juan Descano Anderson. It's very difficult to get away with a dribble handoff with contact. We saw how good Utah was in person the other night, beat the Lakers by 14, that tremendous balance that they have. And, of course, Utah, the ones that pulled the trigger on the trade with this Cleveland team. So we'll see both ends of that trade again tomorrow night. Jared Allen can't hit it. He's basketball. Jared Allen blocked by Wendy and Gabriel. Get it out of here. Now Kendrick Nunn. Took it over to Matt Ryan. Three on its way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's down to 11. Garland in the attacking 47. All of a sudden, they've gone a little cold in traffic. Jared Allen can't hit. Lakers are going to get a chance. Here they come. Crowd is into it. Max Christie pulls up mid-range. Yes! And it's now a nine-point game. So maybe that surrender flag wasn't so much. Well, the Cavs have Two gone into to the play. Cavs have gone into their prevent, prevent mode. defense. You know how that works in the NFL. Yeah. It never does. Now you'll probably see one of the guards from the Cavs try to get to the free throw line at least. I mean, it's still a nine-point game. You've got only a minute forty-seven. By the way, the Cavs will have a foul to give. Disappointment on the faces of AD and LeBron. And rightfully so. Again, only the second time LeBron will lose to this Cavaliers team. First time as a Laker. There you go. And that'll do it. And one, Donovan Mitchell. As I expected, one of their guards would try to get to the free throw line as Donovan Mitchell gets there with a basket, a three-point opportunity as he gets the foul call on Christie. 32 points for... Donovan Mitchell, and he's at the line to try to make it 33. That's a quick indoctrination into the NBA, huh? Get well, in there and guard Donovan Mitchell. They're all tough to guard in the NBA, especially <laughs> when you're a young player. Yeah. So over his season average, it will go up just a tick a bit. And you look at the numbers tomorrow, and again, they play the Clippers here tomorrow. Third game of the five-game trip. Catch Garland holding Toscano Anderson on the dive. <laughs> and had he not held, that might have been a turnover for the Lakers because Kendrick kind of lost control of the ball and I thought it hit the sideline. December 6th in Cleveland. That's when we'll see these Cavs again. Ryan, high arbor, mid range. And right the tough the one zone. over the top of Mobley, who did a great job of challenging. Uh, Cleveland winds up with five in double figures. 33 for Mitchell, 24 for Garland. Lakers had four in double figures. Russ had a double-double off the bench. Double-double for AD. Illegal dribble. That's two carries in one game. When's the last time you saw the, the officials call two carries in one game in the NBA? Normally, that's just wave it off. Again, the post-game show's coming up in just a matter of moments. Take it at El Segundo. Levert with the rebound. Lakers will be 2-7, two 2-4 and seven, two and four at home, and they're going to try to win their first roadie of the year tomorrow night. Remember, pregame show prior. I'll have it for you from Utah. And 
this Cavs team draws a little bit closer to the Bucks. I mentioned the Bucks nine and zero. They'll be at Atlanta tomorrow. Cavs are shooting free throws number 35 and 36. I said they were on pace for 40. So I missed by a little bit. This is also going to stop a five-game Laker winning streak over this Cavalier team. Cavs team really shot it well there, too. They're almost 90% from the line. It's blocked by Jared Allen. And what a story of halves, too. And all the excitement of that first quarter just got drowned out. Cavs will most likely take a turnover. And the smattering of Cav fans here certainly making themselves heard. What a start for them. And for Darvin, it's a back-to-back. Right back at it against Utah. And Lakers won't even shoot it. They'll just run it out, and that'll do it from Crypto.com on this Sunday afternoon. Cleveland wins their eighth game of the year. And LeBron 